Here's an undifferentiated cell. Think of it as an early embryonic cell. Illustrated is the glycocalyx as a sort of fuzzy coating of the cell. Remember, these are glycoproteins, also glycolipids. And what makes it a glycocalyx are the carbohydrates that are covalently linked to the proteins embedded in the membrane. During development at some point, integrin will be produced by these cells. The integrin gene will be turned on, the proteins will be synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and they end up on the surface of the cell. Cells will then migrate and attach at different places in the embryo and begin to differentiate so that you get all the different cell types of an embryo, then a fetus, and eventually a newborn in the case of humans. What is this all about? Well, it's about the cell synthesizing and then secreting basal lamina or ECM proteins, which then bind to integrin and to each other to create the ECM. And it's about the synthesis of cell junction proteins to allow cells, once they recognize one another, to actually form junctions. And so what we see is a couple of three cells here uh, attached to one another and bound to a basement lamina or ECM shown at the top. Barrier proteins might be synthesized at, at some point during this process to keep the junction proteins on the sides of the cell, of these epithelial cells, and the glycocalyx proteins that will interact to form an ECM on the upper surface in this case. And here we have the cell junctions, and therefore the cell junction proteins that must have participated in making these junctions, the cadherins and the tight junction membrane proteins, or TJMPs. And of course, this can produce a very strong sheet of epithelial cells that could line the intestines, line your bronchial passageways, or endothelial cells that line the blood vessels. Finally, normal versus cancer cells. Uh, normal cells, when placed in culture, will grow to form a confluent single layer of cells, and then they stop growing. Uh, they stop growing because when they come in contact, they actually form gap junctions that communicate with one another. And one of the communications is stop dividing. And that's why cells form this sort of flat one cell layer if they are normal. We know that cancer cells, when they come together and fill the bottom of a plate, continue to grow eventually, filling the entire liquid in the plate. They've lost their capacity for contact inhibition. And it turns out that when you study cancer cells, they don't form gap junctions. They may come in contact, but they don't form the normal communicative junctions that would otherwise tell them to stop growing. When one looks at these cells, it turns out that some cancer cells either have defective integrins, that is, there's a mutation in the integrin gene, and the integrins are no longer capable of binding and forming an ECM, or proper cell recognition features, or they actually have defective cadherins, and so they can't form desmosomes or adherence junctions.